In this video, we're going to talk a little bit about Android applications. Now, as we said in a previous video, Android applications are typically written in Java, and they often are based on an ARM architecture chip, which you probably don't have in your desktop computer. So how can you deal with that? Well, the easiest way by far to deal with all of this is just to download the Android Studio from Google. Okay, so what I've done here, I've downloaded Android Studio from Google, and I have installed all of the default things that it told me to install. And I have here a very simple sample application that you can get directly from Google. If you don't know this, Android applications are distributed as APK files. To get the APK file, you should be able to put that into your environment here, and you should be able to debug it. So if you want to debug it from within this environment, just click on the bug. It will ask you some questions. Now, one thing I should mention, it does install some emulators for you, which is great. These emulators are super slow. It's thinking and it's saying, okay, I'm done thinking. Would you like to choose a running device? I don't have any. Or run this device as something inside of an emulator, a virtual device, and it's giving me the Nexus 5. And now it's allowing me to load my simulated device. So it will take a little bit of time for this to come up. And it's starting applications. And I have to unlock it. And here I have a very simple application. Over here in my debugger, you'll notice as I push different buttons, it will come up with different messages as to what's going on. This debugger is slightly different from some of the debuggers we've talked about in here, but this is kind of a good place to start if you're trying to do some reverse engineering of an Android app. Other things that you can do, you can use things like the APK tool as well. Another tool is called the APK Studio. In here, I've loaded up an example file that shows the manifest file and some other standard files, some resources, etc. This allows you to investigate what's inside of an APK. And as we said before, you can look at the standard stuff. When you installed that Android Studio, it installed an emulator, and that emulator is called Queenu. So if you had a command prompt after that, and you just type Queenu, and you hit tab twice, what you'll see is there is a long list of processors that it can emulate. And of course, one of those is ARM, and you can emulate 32-bit Intel chips, or 64-bit Intel chips and all kinds of other things as well. So I just wanted to point that out in case you wanted to look at some binaries directly, you can do that as well. 